Hey boys, it's Harm Nan. Today we're going to be customizing the Vapid Stainier LE Cruiser in Grand Theft Auto Online. I just unlocked this because I just finally got done with the start of the salvage yard business uh, which i am going to be making a video on very soon but i figured i would customize this car because i have heard that this thing has some crazy customization stuff that i wouldn't have thought this car would ever have so anyways we're going to start off with the armor we're going to go all the way up on this the brakes as well of course engine all the way up for the lights we are going to go xenon now obviously everything seems really basic at this point as you guys will see in just a second here there are tons of things that we can do to this car so so uh, we can switch up all kinds of liveries, go for different numbers on the vehicles, different units. So crime scene unit, canine unit, prisoner transport. Uh, we can go for the LSPD modern, the Los Santos state trooper, LS highway patrol. We got the county sheriff, the Richmond PD, airport PD, Rockford Hills PD, Del Perro PD, Davis PD, Port Authority, Grapeseed PD. Polito Bay PD. We got the light LSPD, which is pretty cool. LS State Trooper light as well. Highway Patrol light, Sheriff light. Uh, we have the County Park Ranger as well. Really sweet. Uh, we got that in a canine as well. We have the LSPD Stealth livery. Uh, Highway Patrol as well, Stealth, Sheriff, Stealth. Obviously super, super cool. So I don't really know which one I want to go for. Honestly, I feel like I feel like some of the ones up a little higher generally look a little bit cooler. I feel like the Highway Patrol would be super sick, but at the same time, the Sheriff, I think, is probably the one that I really want to go for. However, I do like the like Port Authority and all this stuff, like the Polito Bay PD is pretty sick. All of these options are super cool. I think I'm gonna go for the LS County Sheriff because I feel like that's just kind of cool. And then for the police equipment, there's all kinds of stuff we can go for here. We got the Tech Array 1.0, 2.0, 3.0. We have the 4.0 as well. We have the 5.0, 6.0, and the 7.0. So cool that we have these options. I really do think that this is just absolutely awesome. I think that I want to go for something kind of crazy here, and I think that I kind of want to go for the Tech Array 6.0. I feel like that's pretty cool. We have searchlights that we can add onto the car, uh, folded single searchlight, raised single searchlight. Um, we have all kinds of stuff. I'm not sure if these actually work. I'm going to put them on the car and we're going to find out. Now for the lighting, we have no emergency lighting. We have custom emergency lighting one and custom emergency lighting number two. I think number two looks better, so I'm going to go for that. And then we can also install a push bar on the front of the car as well, which is super, super sick. Uh, we have the interceptor push bar, which I think is the one that I kind of want to go for today. So that's what I'm going to choose and put on the car. We can also respray the vehicle as well. As you guys can see, we can make it look like a Blaine County Sheriff, uh, which is kind of what I'm thinking I want to go for. So we're going to go ice white uh, for the primary, and then we could actually switch it up if we wanted to and go black for the secondary. But honestly, I feel like double ice white looks super sick. It reminds me of the Blaine County cars, which I think is cool. We're going to uh, maybe not lower the car down. Honestly, I feel like it looks better raised. So I'm actually just going to keep it stock suspension. We will go for the race transmission though, and the turbo as well uh, for the wheels. I'm going to leave them alone, but we will go for some bulletproof tires on here. I feel like that's pretty cool looking, so we'll do that. Uh, we will also tint out the windows just a little bit. Let's put a light smoke on here. But isn't this so cool, guys? Like, I'm, I'm actually thrilled that this car actually has some customization. If I had known that it was this car with this amount of customization versus the unmarked cruiser with no customization i definitely would have bought this one over the other one obviously i was going to buy both anyways because i'm making videos i'm showing you guys what's up but if you're going to spend the money on one of the cruisers you might as well get this one because it's actually got some stuff that you can do to it which i think is pretty worth it honestly uh, for the price you're gonna to have to pay in order to get it i think the the difference in price between the two is pretty worth because you got the unmarked cruiser which usually goes for 3.95 million or this one for uh, 4.69 million or with the trade price if you have it it's only three and a half so obviously still way too expensive but at least get your money's worth with uh, with this one that's really cool the searchlights do actually work on this car how cool is that that is so sweet okay uh, we're going to get into the review of the car now. So anyways, we're going to start off with the sound test. So let's see how she sounds. A 
okay so yeah it's, it doesn't sound like anything it's it's pretty trash it sounds it almost sounds more underwhelming than the other stain here, the unmarked one that uh, that I reviewed earlier, which is kind of crazy. Uh, now, of course, this does have the emergency lights that we can put on and everything. It does have the, uh, the separate codes as well if you hold down the horn button. Um, in order to turn the sirens on and off, I just simply press E on PC, which is just the uh, my, my horn button uh, usually. So uh, you can turn them on and off like that, and then you can turn them on and then hold it, and uh, that will activate the, uh, the other code, I guess. And then without... Uh, pressing it you can just hold it down and you will get the police horn which is really cool as well i think uh, now these cars actually have really decent performance really surprisingly good performance to be completely honest they're actually a lot better than you would expect them to be so that is really cool the performance on these cars is actually very very good especially the handling now if you've ever stolen a police car in gta you will know that they actually do tend to handle pretty well and it's no different with the ones that you can actually buy and store in your garage like like this one right here uh, they go around corners really easily and there's you know often pretty much no problems they'll go around the corner super fast as well so really nothing to complain about performance wise i do think that these vehicles are actually relatively good like obviously they're not going to smoke anything in a race but as a free mode vehicle and you know as a police car that you can have in your garage i feel like they actually do very very well so that's really cool i'm glad to see it obviously uh, we do like these cars to you know to actually show some sort of performance i, I think it is important and uh, it's good to know that they aren't really as big of a slouch as you might expect them to be uh, i plan to use these cars a lot i'm honestly planning to buy more than one of them and I think we're going to use them in the manhunts because I think they are going to fit super well with our manhunts that we do uh, every week. So I'm very excited to use it in a manhunt for the first time ever. So yeah, guys, if you're going to pick up one of the police cars, I would definitely recommend spending the extra money to get the one with all of the different liveries and the actual customization options. The other one's pretty cool. The unmarked, it is neat in its own way. If you have the money, get both of them. They both serve their own sort of purpose. Uh, if you like to drive, you know, police cars in GTA and you want to own some, um, if you have enough money, get both. But if you can only really afford to get one, I would spend the extra little bit of money and get the one that is marked because all the different livery options and the customization definitely makes it a lot more worth it. So anyway, guys, do with that information what you will. I would recommend these though for sure. They are actually very, very cool and they are growing on me. If you guys enjoyed the video, a like is of course appreciated. If not, dislike. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. I am going to be covering the full salvage yard business in a video coming later today. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Peace.